Hey, welcome to Area Shores Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Well, the $6.5 billion betrayal of Israel didn't take long to come to fruition. Hamas has just la launched a surprise military attack into Israel on a variety of fronts. Over 5,000 so rockets so far have been launched. Countless civilians, uh, estimated 2,000 wounded, over 250, 300 that are dead and the count is rising there are videos surfacing on social networks of the innocent civilians captured by hamas terrorists and taken away into the gaza strip where they are being tortured stripped of their clothes and beheaded their throats cut and beheaded in the streets these barbarians need to be put down for the animals they are. Joe Biden and Anthony Blinken and his State Department are so anti-Israel, anti-Semitic, it wouldn't, it didn't take long. And the uh, prediction I made of the betrayal uh, came to fruition, unfortunately. The 6.5 billion unfrozen went straight to Iran, where they subsidized this attack, provided more rockets for Hamas. They are providing arms to, arms to Hamas, as well as Hezbollah, PLO, and a number of anti-Jewish, anti-Israel terrorist organizations. Why am I telling you this? Because this could escalate very greatly, very quickly. This administration has made no response other than telling everybody else, don't join in the fight. Which tells me that the snub of Israel by this administration, our only democratic elected ally in the Middle East, he has still turned his back on him and where's Biden now? Trump already made a statement calling for the attack, barbaric and everything else. But no word, not a peep from Biden or anyone else in this administration. Probably Sleepy Joe's probably taking his afternoon nap or on vacation where he's been 50% of the time anyway. Anthony Blinken is busy out partying and singing the blues and everything else, literally. So they're not doing anything. This could very easily escalate into something that uh, we have been warning about and talking about for quite some time. President Netanyahu, the leader of Israel, has said we are at war and basically said we are intending to win this war. And I, if I had to guess, you will see a major offensive of uh, Israeli forces going into the Gaza Strip and hand-to-hand -hand combat, house-to-house -house combat fighting will incur or occur uh, within the next 24 hours. It's going to heat up real quick, folks, real quick. I don't know what else to tell you because it's happening so fast and that's the trouble. It's happening so fast. If other Arab non-aligned states decide to chime in and see this as a signal from the Biden administration, which of course it is, that Israel is on its own other than lip service from this administration, you could easily see uh, Syria going at it. You could see Iran going at it. And a few other states, countries, jumping in as well. I would definitely keep an eye on this. Right now there isn't anything you and I can do about it other than make sure you are stocking up on your food long term and uh, your equipment. 
a lot of times when this war breaks out in the Middle East, you will see the Palestinians that are here in this country, the Muslims, the radical Muslims, like in Michigan, New York, uh, LA, all the hot spots, start to light up with anti-Israel, anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish uh, attacks, fights breaking out, synagogues attacked and everything else. Keep your eyes open for that. These next 24 to 48 hours are gonna be critical. We are gonna see what happens with any support uh, that the United States is going. We have satellites over Israel, over the Gaza Strip, over Iran, and the reports are coming out that we did not warn Israel of an impending military buildup. That's, the, that's this administration. Backstab democracy, embrace the fascist, the dictatorship, and the communists. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Please continue to do so. Leave your comments. Greg out.